That was close. We made it. That's the important part. You don't realize. One more minute and all those years of work would have been annihilated. What's your excuse this time? My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Don't you dare do that to me again! I'm sorry. <sighs> He's right. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Somehow. But it's getting late. Hmm. I know. Grandpa always said, eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I forgot. I still haven't gone shopping. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. Cooking time. When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? Hmm, probably. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Huh? <sighs> of course, that's him. Raph. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. I just can't help thinking about, well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Please. Okay. Here. Mmm. This smells so good. Quick, I'm starving. Hey, I thought you said... Doesn't matter. Give me some. No way! What? Is it bad? Oh, great. I knew I shouldn't have put some... It's delicious! Is it? Uh, say, you're right. What's your secret? No idea. I had very few ingredients left. You know, no time to go shopping. You're a magician, then. Ah, uh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Actually, it's funny. I thought I'd cheer you up, but it's the other way around. Never stop surprising me, son. Mm. You know, this meal, it kind of reminds me of... Your mother? Mm. She never had any time for cooking. But when she did, it was wonderful. Just like you. I mean, you're the same with cooking. No free time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. About what happened. Wait, not here. This time... It's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Uh, where are you going? <sighs> I didn't expect to climb all the way up here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. I wanted you to see this. Uh, see what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash, the polluted haze, despair, and misery. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground. But you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Whoa! You're right. This is pretty. Yeah, it hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Uh, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight each day. We would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> Uh, well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> I... 
I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Not just her, but my father, too. Forgetting my parents. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the Triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents. They were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just gone. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield so we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I wish I could remember. You know, I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? You. The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. <sighs> it's been a long time. Look, I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish things were different, but I need you to know I will always stand by you. <sighs> do you still trust me? I do. Hey, I realized I don't have any pictures of us. This view would make a good one. Good idea. Hold on. Darn, the camera is acting up again. Let me do it. Wait, are you sure you know? Of course I do. There. Uh huh? Oh, well, uh, I guess I'll take another. Don't! It's... It's perfect. Really? Okay. Here, I transferred it to you. Thanks. I... I'm glad you're here. Me too. Uh-oh. Hello? Bro, what are you doing? The fight starts in a few minutes. Oops! If you don't come immediately, I swear I'm gonna- Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh... Um... I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. I'm, uh, I'm here, ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Huh? But you said... I used my bending time capacity. Bending time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? Now you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right, I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh, I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh, here comes Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh. Very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. What is time? Well, uh, it's some kind of measurement. Like, I weigh 220 pounds and you weigh, um, how much do you weigh? Bro, you're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. 
Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down on my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference, maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellite's increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you? Exactly! Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan, but the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is the only reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny our brains can't notice. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right, we're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass. One day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey, that's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly, but you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time? Exciting, uh-huh. Can you just picture it? <sighs> right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. Uh-oh. Uh we may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin.
Who are you? Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. Ah! Huh? You? You're a... Darn! You blew my cover. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way. Not an option. I... I can't hit a lady. Well, I am one, and I'm telling you. Smash her down. Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. Very well. I won't hold back. Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then, what for? Goodbye. Huh. Well, I won. What a day. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. Cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? Hey, what's that? Some kind of giant egg? That's it, it, it. no touching. But I just. Nope. Can you at least tell me what's in there? It's a secret. Ooh, a new invention? Yeah. I promise this will change your life. Let me guess. That's a uh, money making machine. Not even close. Then, uh... Hmm. Take your time. Well, bye. Hey, you're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse? Like this morning, when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. And I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. <laughs> I believe in you. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. 